struggle for independence. The Eritrean Liberation Front, ELF, was formed in 1961. The movement now controls large areas of rural country in Eritrea and is in the process of putting together a parallel society. This is the militia, a sort of home guard found all over Eritrea. The militia is made up of farmers who defend their villages until the Liberation Front troops arrive. Thirteen men using a few ancient rifles began the armed fight in 1961. Today, everyone is involved. People from towns and villages are forced to flee into the open countryside. Many are given protection by the liberation movement, and some are settled in newly built villages called Tahadiso. Tahadiso dwellers are housed in the safest areas that can be found. Traveling to these places often takes a long time and can be dangerous. Traveling is done at night to avoid Ethiopian bombers. This family is to rest up for a few days in the home of a member of the ELF's women's organization. There are more than a million homeless people in Eritrea. They are totally dependent on the liberation movement for survival. The movement's aim is to make Eritrea self-sufficient, even in wartime. At this point, however, humanitarian aid from abroad is still vital if people are to be kept alive. The Liberation Movement works together with the Eritrean Red Cross and Red Crescent. The Red Crescent is the Islamic equivalent of the Red Cross. Relief food and clothing are sent out to people all over the country. In the Tahadiso villages, people are starting again from scratch and need literally everything. They're given housing, pots and pans, tea and clothes, flour, 
red lentils and sugar. In this village alone, there are 5,000 people. Here, as elsewhere in areas liberated from the Ethiopians, Eritreans are being confronted with new ideas and new ways of living, and even of thinking. The women in this village have started a women's cooperative association to help with providing goods and services. It looks like a demonstration, but it isn't. These women are on their way to join the men to celebrate Liberation Army Day. Today, homage is paid to those killed during the 20-year-old struggle for independence. It's nice to have a party for a change. The women work hard. The women's organization feels that its most important task is simply getting in touch with women all over Eritrea. But there are a lot of problems, getting through to the veiled nomadic women, for example, and they're among the most victimized. These women may never show their faces. They can only leave their houses if they're with their husbands. The young girls among them are circumcised. This means that their clitoris and labia are cut away. Another custom involves cutting away the velum at the back of the throat if a person is suffering from severe throat trouble.
وكمان نحن هون بعلنا نتن نقلين زلنا بعلنا نخن قلين تحسوا ناس جاب كند زي تحس لزوجنا لأن ملاين ناي مقبل بناي مسرح قدام بس كتش قل له تعال أبلات سراو تحرنس بصص أبلات نحفاش ودوات كمون بصص أبلات عدو مثنان حفاش زمنان نزات هاي خاوت مع السزيا أم نزاة دموت أمريس تقار اللي حرف يرسرا سراو تنان حفاش زمنان حقاقشنا نوع لله مع السي ندام مقوسكو لك أنستيو يرسرا كما كان نايت عبرت سب تجي مجزاتي كساقين ركب كمون تجي زتفلي وزعات بعدها وصعت صعتت صعتتون نتي ناتن مسألات نخيح اللولن زجبر قلستاتون مستي قلس نايت حزب إرتراز تتحازب مهانو نعوم كالسا زيادة ندرب جوانا ناتن كالسا لوز خيلا عوم خطرية قد نت يقبره سلذي كالسي جوان ستيت يترى أبتي هجراوي كمون دربا وتصدت بتوسع نتي توسع وتصدت نمر نمكلال زتو الدبى زتترن في العالستات كتكايد تقدر the women's organization takes care of orphan children too, as well as the children of soldiers. Ethiopian bombing raids make life hard for the children. This camp has 200 children and has had to move several times because of heavy bombing. <laughs> This group of singers and dancers is from the Hadarib, an ethnic minority from Western Eritrea. Here the music and dancing are by the Eritrean Liberation Front's National Music and Theatre Troupe. The members of the troupe are drawn from all the nine different ethnic groups in Eritrea. The troupe sees its work as an important factor in keeping down tribal rivalry and conflicts between Christians and Muslims. marketplace in the highlands. The troop is on a tour of the countryside, making visits to villages and towns along the way.
The players are wearing the Liberation Army uniform and are armed. A generator on the back of a truck provides the electric current for their amplifiers and instruments. Besides the Liberation radio and stenciled news sheets, the music troupe is regarded as the movement's most important means of spreading information. The movement's national music and theatre troupe performers aren't the only ones doing the singing and dancing. The Liberation Army has its own band and dancers to entertain the soldiers. The words of their songs are always about some current situation. In this case, the song is about the conflict between the ELF and the other main liberation movement in Eritrea, the EPLF. The United Movement split in 1970, making the struggle for independence both more complicated and longer. The ELF is the oldest and the largest of the independence movements. Armed opposition has been going on since 1961. The Eritrean people's identity was recognized by the United Nations in 1952, but one of Africa's lengthiest wars of independence still goes on. Eritrea's strategically important position on the Red Sea means that the Ethiopian regime will go to almost any lengths to get control of the country. The Ethiopian regime tries to win support among its troops by claiming that Eritrea is being invaded by Arabs. Uh, ተጠምጥሮ አርጎ እየተቀበለ ነው 
ያሉ አንዳንድ ወሽታዊ ፕሮፓጋንዳዎችን ዘጥመን food transport to a liberated town. At dusk, people return to the town. Shops reopen and the men drink their evening tea at the shop on the square. The simple bomb shelter by the square is empty during the day, since everyone simply leaves town when a bomb attack is likely. But a few kilometers outside of town, life goes on almost as normal. Hidden by the dense trees, thousands of people can gather for market days arranged by the liberation movement every week. <laughs> This land used to belong to an Italian plantation owner. The land has now been parceled out and is farmed by a cooperative. Through land reforms worked out by the liberation movement, people have been given equal access to land, which is then farmed either by cooperatives or by individuals. <laughs> حدا خلته قالي وقالي دما ترى ايد نبر حرشو ني اه حتى ما تي بلعني الربع مثلث حرشيه بلعني رو لو مجن بغزي جبها كل مريت اما عاره تبهيلو تمعاريو اتزينو برو حجو اتزنو برو ما مش كل سد نعرنت كوين قصيلو بدحيو دك نستيو ترشو مريت اي نبرن اي توهبان كل من اسيات وين اي نبرو حج كل دق نستيو زن مامن ترايدن زن نبرا تمعارين مريت رخيبا بنفس حاضر من اسيات وين زي نبرو كلهم بنفسهم حاضر مريت رخيبا بزي نغير زي كل لط سراي هاجرنا بزي سلم ارنت ترخبي بهيل واتل سيتات قمت But despite land reform, famine is never very far away. For this reason, all units of the liberation forces run their own small-scale farms. Each battalion, each brigade and each administrative unit has its own sweet corn and vegetable patch. The majority of Eritreans are illiterate. Because of this, the liberation movement has started a large number of schools, providing both elementary and advanced courses. Teaching goes on everywhere, in the early morning and in the evenings. The few schools that existed during Ethiopian rule taught in Amerinja, an Ethiopian language. Today, Eritrean languages are used. Higher classes are also taught in English. But there's a shortage of teaching aids and books. The school books that are used are printed in Eritrea. They're very simple and are often simply stenciled sheets bound together.
a delicate eye operation in a field hospital. Complicated cases can be taken care of at the general hospital, but most patients are treated out in the country. The idea is to bring medical care to all Eritreans. Simple clinics and travelling medics are to be found everywhere throughout the countryside. There's not much medicine and few instruments, and the job is made that much harder since clinics and hospitals are also bomb targets. كبو حالفنا حدا بوتا كوايبلنا كن بنخيل ولا بتي ما كلا يهوس بتاع نسرحه سلة بزح نفرتي بزح سلة دساعي أنا كبوتا نبوتا خلينا كسعس نريء زيد لنا يا بوتا وين حجي حدش بوتا مسينا خلنا خاوز بوتا زوين رقص أي كنا بزوج زوج خمسة نحن كأس عصفين نخيلنا. فرهدغي قاجوغي أي تفرحي إذ شقر زي أباخي ترح زوارة شقر أي كونان أمولو هزبي إرترا زوارة شقر هزبي إرترا ون كابتي زولو شقرات حارا نخوص منتي مسولون حرنتون ناصنتون إلو إذ جمرو قالس دائم بر فتاوغي كوينو أي كونان قالسون كابزي شجرات زي حارا نخوص نازا نخوص بمالت كساب حجي قالسو خكاي دير كم نحنا وننتقنا كم سراوي تحرنت إرترا موغاتي مسواتنت كم زولو نافلتنا منتهز بإرترا قالسنا خنكاي دير كم زي بحافو شو اقاتي مزولو شقرات وي زقات مزولو شقرات نهز بي ارترا مو بي بعداو مقزاتي نتي زولو قالسي يحنونون بزيادة يباراتو عند امبر ندحريت كوغوتو وي خوغوتو اي كيلن اس لزخونا يخاء قالسي هز بي ارترا كعوات ناي قدن ينبلو